USDC versus USDT Tether, both stable coins worth $1. What is the difference? The major difference is what is backing these stable coins. For many years, most people did not believe that Tether was fully backed by a dollar. But it was hard for us to know the truth because Tether was not transparent and they were not open to audits. But recently, what is backing Tether has been confirmed and Tether's first reserve breakdown is showing the token is 49% backed by unspecified commercial paper. And the reason that Tether is now showing their reserves is to remain compliant with a settlement with the New York Attorney General, which they paid $18.5 million to settle. So Tether provided a breakdown of their reserves and this is what the chart looks like. 75% cash and cash equivalents, the rest secured loans, corporate bonds and other investments. But if we go even deeper into the cash and cash equivalents, what does this really mean? Well, according to Tether, only 3.87% is actually in cash. The rest, commercial paper, fiduciary deposits, reverse repo notes and treasury bills. And this is only going to be a quick video, but if you want to go deeper into what this exactly means, CoffeeZilla made an amazing video about Tether. I will leave a link for it down below. And for those of you watching this video saying Tether FUD, you're in denial. I'm not even making up these statistics, right? This is coming directly from Tether, right? So this isn't Tether FUD. This is exactly the information that they are providing. So when it comes to Tether's backing, it is very messy. And I don't think anyone is shocked by this. No one really believed it was backed fully by a dollar. And today, no one is surprised by it. But when it comes to USDC stablecoin, what is the difference? USDC has been fully transparent, compliant, and open to audits since its inception. And they are regularly audited by Grant Thornton LLP. And for those of you that are unaware, Grant Thornton LLP is a top five auditing firm in the world. And if we look at the most recent audit from this firm, it shows right here, US dollars held in custody accounts are at least equal or greater than the USDC tokens outstanding at the report date and time. So USDC fully transparent and they are fully backed. But there is something I need to mention. If we look at the reports, they're supposed to be done monthly. But the last report was in April of 2021. And right now we're in July, right? Where is May? Where is June? And this is a report from May of 2021 stating USDC attestations run late, raising alarms in the crypto community. And the reason that I'm bringing this up is to show you that although USDC is more compliant and I guess, you know, safer than USDT, in the space of crypto, no one is immune to foul play. I do trust that USDC is back, but a good lesson for us in the crypto space is never put 100% trust into anyone. Even in this case, USDC, as we, as we can see right here, they still are missing two months of reports. So what does this mean for you? What's the difference for you as an investor or a trader? The difference is that you probably don't want to hold on to Tether. Maybe you want to use it to move crypto from one exchange to another or trade crypto or buy crypto. But in terms of holding on to Tether, it doesn't really make sense to me if you have USDC as an option. For example, I like to earn interest on my stable coins. If I have the option of holding USDC right for long term to earn interest, why would I choose Tether? Again, this isn't FUD. I'm showing you exactly what is going on. And I even called out Coinbase here, right? USDC is supposedly backed 100%, you know, one to one, but we don't have any reports over the last two months. And if you want to go deeper into Tether, I do have that link down below for the CoffeeZilla video. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.